You guys ready to kick this off? I took care of mine, so I'm good. Thank you. Dude, thank you so much. Who wants a, a ready player dumb sticker? Alright, I'm gonna. Ready? Where did I go? Oh, you put some. Light. That thing flew way better than I expected it to. Of course, I almost knocked out the referee. I thought it was just gonna, like, float down. You're welcome. You're welcome. I actually have a couple stickers. I can, uh, uh, hand those out at the end of the panel. Uh, so yeah, this is the Bronies React panel, and for all of you joining us here today, now I really guys want you to do it, alright? I want us to scare a couple of the people outside. Don't be afraid to make some noise here because we're just going to be having some fun, alright? I already see people plugging their ears. Understandable. Are you ready? Make some noise! Alright! So again, I, I want to thank you all for joining us here. This is the Bronies React panel uh, with the four of us up here. Uh, and I'll go ahead and let everyone introduce themselves, I guess starting with the man to my right. That's not a man. What? What? Ooh. What did you say? Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. <laughs> You're going to get some of the most candid answers from this one here. <laughs> He's sobering up on root beer. <laughs> root, 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 root. Nectar of the gods. Root. Who are you? I'm Paleo Steno. The man. And you're an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we got Paleo Steno. Who are you? Who? Oh. My name is Gabriel Brown, or Black Griffin. Like and subscribe. You didn't. You didn't point. Smash this video. What? <laughs> oh yeah, Gabriel Brown or Black, Black Griffin. Griffin. I'm gonna be sitting on a panel today, and you, you. I'm hungry. <laughs> I thought that was a country. <laughs> well, I am the Silver Quill. You can like and subscribe here. Hey, there we go. All uh, the people that reached to subscribe, that was really charming. <laughs> um, now, Silver, um, oh, and uh, I'm AC Race Pass. I make the Bronies React. So, again, thank you all for coming. It means a lot to see the continued support of the series. Um, before we get going, uh, Silver, did you have something you wanted to do? Yes, something I need to do. Oh, he's going to record. I feel I must. Of course, it would help if I weren't recording. Uh, do you want me to hold the uh, the recording? I believe now I'm semi-competent. Welcome to the semi-competent podcast. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're 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 okay. Did it. Did it. Did We're recording did it. Gabe did for some it. reason. Hi. 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 What? Why? Oh, are you recording me intentionally? So, uh, who here is familiar with the series uh, known as uh, Jackass? No. You're not doing something horrible, are you? Yes. <laughs> mm, it, it's open. Note peeking. Note peeking. Note peeking. No. I. Oh, well, I've defeated myself. I'm here as a messenger of a friend who wanted to offer encouragement and support in all that you do in all that you strive to be. Oh. You're about to get cease and desist or something. <laughs> Hasbro loves you. Here's your shutdown. So That was shut down before I even started. Oh. So first and foremost, we have here... Master Chief. Hey! Oh my gosh, are these Nora presents? <laughs> <laughs> these are yeah. Nora presents. <laughs> oh, he Thank me you, out. Nora Mermaid. Aww. <laughs> Next up... Whoa. <laughs> You did not want to see that from that angle, by the way. Next up we have Earth from Space. Ah ha! One day I'll see this with my own two eyeballs. Yes. Once they figure out what to do with my brain. Yeah, I was very close. Nobody knows what to do I was closer than I'm even allowed to say. And well, well, this may seem a bit hollow because you knew the kindness before you even saw it. This was a a calling card. Oh. <laughs> you guys don't know that. I like it. Is there an inside joke here or something? No. It's just yummy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's creepy too. So, so, uh, and these were all from Nora Mermaid. Nora Mermaid. Thank you, Nora Mermaid. Everyone loves you. Say how much you love her now. There you go. I, I didn't get any sour candy. We miss Nora, you. You I can have some of mine. Really? No. <laughs> Feed it to me like a bird. Oh yes! Oh wait, no, we actually should do that. I'm no. here. 
no, 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 I, I don't. Yeah, you do. I don't think that's I think it COVID is. safe. Yeah, I, shut up. <laughs> you know what? All right, here we go. Ready? Like a bird? Uh, like me like a bird? You bird? Oh, no, he's here. Wait. Just cheap. Cheap for me. Cheap. 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 What kind of dance? <laughs> this should be very familiar to you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> All right. So later, if y'all stick around, we'll eat it like they do the spaghetti in uh, Lady and the Tramp. <laughs> so um, what, I, what I'd like to do here is, uh, first off, just by a general raise of hands, who's got a question out there? Because this is all basically Q&A driven. So do we got questions that are gonna be coming out there? All right, so we got our like starters, right? What I don't prefer doing with these uh, panels is making someone sit like this for 45 minutes because I feel terrible. And sometimes we just happen to miss people. So what I am gonna do, if it's okay with the AV staff, is I'm probably gonna have that be our Q&A mic. And I'm just gonna have you guys nicely hand the microphone to each other. Uh, so we'll probably have a line over in this area. Uh, so I'll go ahead and kick things off here. Who has a question, come join me on this side. I have a Josh. question. No. Dang it. <laughs> Yes! 42. Yeah. And then the line can go ahead and form this universe and everything. So we're not blocking anybody. How many lists does it take to do this? Where did you go? 42. That's the closest one. Not even answering it. There's no reason to. It's a small lollipop or a big top. I'm just envisioning bad things. All right. Uh, first question. Hello. Hi. All right, so this question is for all of you. Um, so I understand um, once you've done as many Bronies React episodes as we all have, they kind of blur together, but if you can remember one specific Bronies React that you did that you just maybe weren't satisfied with the, with the performance or that you wish could do again, do you remember which episode would that be maybe? Yes, I do. You do? I do. I actually, okay, I don't remember which episode specifically. I just remember it was the episode that Larson was in and I, I was so hyper. I don't know what I ate, but I was just like, I was, was it that you remember? Wow. Season five opener. I was Everyone's jumping like, yeah, around we, and bouncing and like screaming, acting like a total idiot. And then I watched it back and I was like, oh my how's gosh, this, what happened this to me? Any different? It is different, okay? Right. It's different. <laughs> no, because, uh, so the weird thing is Larson agreed to do it and they totally backed out. And so I actually sent him an email trying really hard to convince. He was nervous. Larson's shy. There's a little, yeah. a little tip. He's very shy. He is. And so I uh, sent him a long email going, look, man, you don't have to do it, but there are people counting on you. You and hit and then so we agreed to do oh, it. Oh, you guilted him. I did. Oh, I'm very good at that. <laughs> for those that don't know, for those that don't know, by the way, uh, when A.M.A. Larson uh, ever... <laughs> <laughs> the reason that he ever showed up in the Brody's Direct in the first place was because he contacted me. He DM'd me and was like, hey, uh, I need to ask you a question. And I'm thinking, oh no. Or no, he just said, I need to talk to you. And I'm like, that's the beginning of, you're in trouble. <laughs> I'm like, so what did, I, what did we do? What, who did we piss off? And uh, and yeah, and then he's like, so uh, don't tell anybody, but I kind of want to be in your bronies react. And of course we immediately were like, oh, we're gonna tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't tell me when to ask. Um, but yeah, uh, what about Silver, Paleo, do you have any? Oh, yeah. um, I, I would say like a lot of the early ones I was in, where like I don't feel like I was like saying that much compared to like later Rose Reacts, so it's just like, I guess, just getting experience with it. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd like to really like redo like earlier ones. Like we start just remaking them. Yeah, like, yeah. All right. Oh God. <laughs> Welcome to Bronze React, the special edition. Yeah. <laughs> it's only four. It's only Photoshop a Jawa behind me or something. Uh, okay, I, there was, okay, like Paleo, I, I think I do better at what, at my earlier versions if, now that I know. Uh, but there's one, event where I at literally did redo my work because I had a booger. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a valid reason though. That is a really good reason. Yeah. So, so it's, the, it's the series finale. It's, it's the series finale and like halfway through I, I notice, oh hey, it's just a little something here. And then I go and I'm like, okay, well, I'm halfway through the first half. So a quarter of the way through the story. 
when I'm going to edit my stuff, cut it down to just the relevant clips, all I can do is stare at this thing. This little goblet, globulet of that, fire that is laughing at me. That is fixated. It is a cosmic force drawing my attention to my schnoz. And this is not a schnoz you want to really appreciate. I think it's a beautiful schnoz. I appreciate that. Flare, flare. But uh, I, I literally waited for the similar time of day as when I recorded, went back and redid all the shots because I just could not stand this booger. Fair enough, yes, yes. Here's to boogers. Okay. The people that are walking by the room right now are like, boogers, booger, booger, booger. Booger. Boogers. Boogers. Sorry, they were just like, what the hell? Um, you got someone to come in? Uh, so for me, I uh, I almost had this happen. Um, there, it, it was a learning experience that I luckily caught myself on um, where I rushed through the editing of one of the Bronies reacts, and it was, I wanna say maybe the fifth or sixth one that we made. Um, and the reason I rushed through it was because I was about to go on a week-long vacation and I wanted to get it out before that. And I hit upload on it, and then I just had this feeling. Uh, so I hit upload on it, five minutes later I'm in the car and we're driving away from the house. And I, uh, and, and it's just set to go live as soon as it uploads. And, and then I, I had my la uh, I had another uh, version of the file on a laptop that I had in the car, and I was like, for some reason I just have this feeling. And I, I, I started clicking through it and I found like major editing errors. Like, like stuff where like clips were in the wrong spot, and I was like, oh my gosh, like what do I do? And I called up my friend Tommy, and I'm like, I need you to log into my YouTube account and kill this upload. I have like five minutes before this thing goes live. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! And he's like, yeah, I think I could get to that soon. He was already on his computer, but he's like messing with me. But yeah, that was, that was, that was a moment where I learned I, I, I can't rush through these. I need, to, I need to take my time, and luckily it didn't go live, and uh, because it, it really pays off to wait that extra day yeah. or week instead of or two years forever yeah <laughs> instead of you know knowing that you release something that you're not happy with so i just got away with that one so yeah thank you thank you yes yes yes, yes. by the way i need everybody right now to just start giving a round of applause to that beautiful individual standing up against the wall. Don't you go Where anywhere, Alexis! Yes! Oh, yes! yes! <laughs> Great work this weekend. Next question. Okay, this is mainly a semi-perfect podcast question. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to know, uh, what was your guys' like, favorite food post and how many of them were mine? <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, how many people here watch the Semi-Perfect Podcast? So we have a couple. For those of you that don't know what it is, it is a podcast that airs uh, every other Wednesday. Um, it what? is, uh, it, yeah, oh. you should join sometime. <laughs> I'm usually like flying or something. I pull up my phone and take a picture and it's like, live now, Semi-Perfect Podcast. And I'm like, ah, that was today. There oh. comes a point where you stop believing that. No, it's true. You haven't shown up for a year. No, you haven't told me it's happening. <laughs> oh, do you want me to let you know when it's happening? Yes. Okay. Oh, you do. I do. Because I can't keep track of days. That's true. I you don't can. work like you do. <laughs> so, uh, so anyways, for the semi-perfect podcast, it's uh, uh, Paleo, Saber Spark. We got Panama Matt, my wife Sarah, uh, Jack's Blade, Gabe occasionally, Hero Sasha, like a bunch of our friends get together and talk for about two hours of a what's going on with us, uh, news that's coming out with My Little Pony, and uh, just kind of discussing a whole lot of like media, movies and and cartoons and whatnot. But we always like to start off the podcast with food posts. And uh, so I, I, because I'm coming home from work, I haven't eaten dinner yet, so I'm like, I wanna make myself suffer even more. I wanna see what everyone else is eating during the podcast. Uh, and Nathaniel has had a whole bunch of great uh, submissions. But when you ask the best, like there's been some where I'm like, 
either A, this isn't edible, B, this can't be real, C, it's like, who thought of this combination? And then there's D. And D, an example of D would just be simply, you sitting here in the front row, Mr. Ambazar just sends in a picture of a bag of ham. <laughs> what are you eating right now? It's just a plastic, crinkled up bag of ham. Don't walk until you try it, man. <laughs> was it spiral cut? <laughs> yes, it was. Oh yeah. man, that's impeccable taste. <laughs> I can make some, something with that. I I was just, I was, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we appreciate everyone's submissions and seeing you some know of my the, favorite food posts are. What's your favorite food post? My favorite food post is when uh, Sarah and Race are like judging people's houses. <laughs> <laughs> judging, we're just assessing. Because people take a, a photo of their food, but then like you see like their whole house in the background, you're like, okay, so what do they have on the wall? Oh, that's interesting. They're like, oh, don't worry about the mess. And we're like, let's pick out every single thing in the mess. Like, what's, <laughs> this is cool. But uh, yeah, we appreciate your continued viewership and, and your food posts um, and your strange bags of ham. Um, uh, and, and anyone that, if, even if you've never submitted anything, but you're just a, a viewer sitting there in the audience, we appreciate that as well. So um, yeah, Semi Perfect Podcast. Our next one's going to be this Wednesday, and we're going to be recapping Harmony Con and talking a lot about that stuff and food posts. So uh, hopefully, we see more of you there. You're, you're having your stitches removed on women? See, this is a, one excuse after another, game. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. So thank you for your question. All right. Oh, and now we'll move on to the next question. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So, okay. as you all know, uh, a few uh, days... Uh, 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 never start with that. You're spouting exposition. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we all know. Yep. As you all know, a few days ago was the 10-year anniversary of Bronies React. Did you know that? I didn't know that. <laughs> 10 years, guys. I haven't even grasped that, but yes, yeah. it's been 10 years. Yeah, and I want to ask you, out of the past 10 years of the whole series, what has been your most, each one of, of your, his, of a moment that's so historic for Bronies React for each and every one of you? Whew. Ooh, historic I moments. can think of a few. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, there was a time where, because I thought Flash and Twy were, and I still think Flash and Twy are terrible, terrible cannon shipping, and I have so, so many reasons. I, I, I have so many reasons that it, Jeff wouldn't have put my reasons in the React, because it would have taken up the entire React. I'll give a few of them now. Twilight is a pony. Flash Century is not. I have nothing against that. I don't see the problem. I have nothing against that. But that should be me. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to drive the point home, so I hiked Mount Fuji, and then I did a backflip. Do that. Uh, and then I d jumped out of an airplane. And th 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 that was fun. You did do that. And, and necessary as well. I remember when you said you were going to do it. You and I was like, I was like, you didn't know me that well yet. No, no, I, I did not. I did not. I was oh, after sure, that was, sure. Yeah. I'm gonna jump out of a plane, and I'm like, what does that even mean? Oh, he literally jumps out of. Okay. Ah, oh, man. It's true. Flash and fire are bad cannons. Historic moments. Others. Well, uh, oddly enough, it, it it's also a game with. Uh, what was it? You had a pig out front, or was it a bear? Oh yeah. Or, yeah, you're you're uh. Uh, you had that, that moment where you went outside because there it was a pig. It was a pig. It, it was, was a, a, a javelina, wild pig. Yeah. Wild pig. Yeah. Yeah. I had no idea. Claire just came bursting in through like, there's a pig. It's eating our cactus. <laughs> there was a pig. It was eating our cactus. What she, what you cut is that I actually loaded a gun before we went out. You yeah. cut that. You wanted it to stay monetized. I didn't shoot it. I didn't have to. No, well, it wasn't could. even it wasn't even that. I just wanted people to think that you were more likely to get hurt. <laughs> well, to be fair, it was a nine millimeter that is does not stop a javelina. I just love that it chased after you. Oh, yeah, they're very aggressive. <laughs> they're very aggressive. Oh, yeah. Territorial. Point the gun at me, you swine. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Um, you got any paleo? I'm not sure. Um, I will say, like, I guess, uh, I think it was Equestria LA when, like, you, me, and Saber were hanging out and you asked me to be on Bronies React. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think that 
Yeah. Good time. Yeah, Gabe's over here like, you didn't ask me because he asked He asked me. <laughs> like Larson. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Actually, I, I think somebody asked the other day. Jillian asked you too. <laughs> yes. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had a, I've, I've had a couple. Um, yeah, uh, for me, obviously, like, uh, with the involvement of the Bronies Racks over these 10 years, I think, I think one of the most, it, it's not just a single historic moment, but it's been phenomenal to me, the amount of people that have come up to me and said, your series is what got me here, that brought me to this convention. That, that got me into the fandom, in some cases that pulled me out of depression. And, and, and hearing stuff like that, that it, it affected people's lives so positively. You know, I, I, didn't, I never created the series with the intention of like, oh man, this is, this is gonna have such a massive impact on everybody. This is, to me it was like, hey, this will be goofy, this will be funny, maybe we'll get some laughs, definitely get some haters. Yeah. And, and it, it just, that to me was, it has always been so special when I've heard that from people. Um, you know, just, just today, about, what, two hours ago, uh, we were in the vendor hall, and uh, Emily was in there, you know, yeah, yeah. hanging out, and, and was like, hey, I love the Bronies React. And it's like, that's awesome, that's awesome. She told me she got an autograph from me at Galacon in like 20, Zero, I don't know, a long time ago. <laughs> like stood in my line, got an autograph from me. I was like, I don't remember, but that's crazy. That it's like kind of come full circle now where I'm like, come on, I got your on ground. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. It's it's yeah. magical. It's just it really is. And and uh, even uh, like Tony Fleeks, you know, we were talking before opening ceremonies and he was like, Yeah, I caught the new React and again sometimes as content creators you don't have a full grasp on the, the reach and the gravity of your reach and the impact that you can have on the people watching. Um, and that's one of the things that to me has always made conventions so special because you actually get to see it in person. You get to have someone tell you in person, this is how important this has all been to me and it's irrepla irreplaceable and it's, it's cool. So, uh, all of you that are here, you've all had that kind of impact. Just you guys being in this crowd and joining us for a Bronies Rack panel, us goofing off, letting us do what we do. Thank you guys. Thank you for everything. Yeah. That, that reminds me of uh, when, when we were in the vendor hall earlier and talking to uh, Assassin Monkey and how like he came here because we came to U.S. conventions because of like racist vlogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never knew this either. Um, have you guys seen Assassin Monkey's art in the vendor hall? It's fantastic. And and I've I've seen him multiple times, like for years. And he's like, I've never had a chance to tell you this, but your convention vlogs. For those that don't know, I, I vlog every convention that I go to. And he said, seeing your convention vlogs is what made me want to come to the U.S. and start doing these conventions. Amazing. Yeah, I was like, I had no idea. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm like, like, your art's so awesome. And he's like, oh, by the way, thanks for uh, convincing me to come out here. I'm like, meh, meh, meh. So yeah, again, you, you just, you don't realize. Like, even if it's something you don't think necessarily like, ah, oh, you know, this gets, this gets so many views, not as much as this stuff. Anything you make as a content creator, it could have that impact on somebody. So you never know. Thank you for your question. Hello. Hi, I just wanted to uh, just wanted to ask how'd you come up with the names you go by? With the what? How, how'd you come up with the names that you go by? Oh, the oh, names oh, that we go by. I love that. Want to start down here since? Yeah, Silver. You. Alrighty. Well, Silver was has been a thing for years. Uh, back when I was well in college, you know, you were all toddlers. <laughs> Uh, That's true. We still are. Okay. <laughs> uh, Were. Okay, I started as a Sailor Moon fan. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 I'm detecting some Sailor fans here. Uh, and Silver was, of course, always a big thing with them. So when I transitioned into the Digimon fandom and started actually interacting, I chose Silver as uh, my first screen name. And somehow, I, on fanfiction.net, I am Silver One. Yeah, I'm the first. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. All you other silvers are just imitators. 
So when it came time to finally get to My Little Pony, uh, I decided to, okay, silver makes a lot of sense. I'm a big fan of writing. My usual focus is on storytelling. So a quill, a symbol of writing, made sense. And well, silver being I'm, not, I'm far from perfect, I am still refining, not gold. So it all made sense. Wow, that you put a lot of thought into that. I'm weird like that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put as much thought into mine. Um, when I was 15, the movie Chronicles of Narnia came out, and the scene, the battle scene, where the griffin flies down and lands next to Peter and is like, they come, your highness, with numbers and weapons far greater than our own. I was like, oh my gosh, that beast is awesome. I want to ride it. And so I loved the griffins. I was just like, I, knew, I will watch this movie a thousand times just to see that griffin scene. Griffins are cool. Griffins are awesome. So... Um, at the same time, I had purchased my first laptop, which was a hand-me-down from my dad, except he still made me buy it. And, um, yeah, and it was a black Dell and Spiron, and I was like, whoa, you can name the hard drive. Awesome. Well, it's a black computer, and I like Griffins, Black Griffin. And I had that be the name of my computer forever, and then when I was 18, I made a DeviantArt page so I could post art, fan art of How to Train Your Dragon, actually. I dropped some fan art. I was like, yeah, it's such a good, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and now I'm missing teeth, so my sister calls me toothless now. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I typed in Black Griffin, the name was taken, so I put a zero instead of the O, and that's the name I have, Black Griffin. Now, I have to ask, have you seen the deleted scenes of Chronicles uh, of Narnia? Oh, I've seen all of it. So the Griffins battling. Yeah, I know. Okay, you've seen and, the Yes, it, I've seen it all. You've seen it all. All of it. All oh, of it. One of them gets. Uh, oh, I. Uh, so for me, which this is a very relevant, I guess, answer in the last week. Um, so for starters, when I was back in the day making a AIM messenger AIM. name. Yeah, AIM. 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 Hit send from the pen. Do you guys still hear the noise? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, I I was like I don't I don't know uh, I'll just I liked race cars so I said race and I was like well best race best yeah that'll work best racer. yeah and then and then um, uh, I went to use that name when I made my YouTube account and it said that it was taken and I did a search and I'm like not in the existence of YouTube is it taken, but it wouldn't let me have it. It's like, <laughs> fine. So I added an AC in front of it. And the reason I did that was because at the time, I was a regular member uh, on the Acorn Cafe, which was a fan forum for a TV show for Chippendale Rescue Rangers. And I'm just waiting, someday they're going to announce more content for that. <laughs> someday. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, I, so uh, that's where the AC came from, which I know is kind of an ongoing joke in the Bronies Racks itself. Thanks, Larson. Um, and, uh, and yeah, uh, so it, yeah, the, the AC just stood for Acorn Cafe, because also at the time, the reason I did that, I thought, oh, I'm going to make a bunch of content related to... Uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I thought that's that was gonna be like the whole plan for that channel. I only made one video um, It's still up. It's still there, but uh, Yeah, that's where my name. That's how you met your wife too, right? Acorn yeah, Cafe? yeah, I met Sarah at the Acorn Cafe long nice. distance for five years. That's crazy now married <laughs> um, So uh, Paleo Steno, so paleo comes from the fact that I had a, have a big interest in paleontology and I wanted to be a paleontologist as a kid. Um, and then Steno, uh, which actually it used to be Orca, because I, I, loved, uh, I, love I loved Orcas. Yeah, but then I changed it to Steno because I was like trying to like uh, rebrand my, myself, I guess. So I, I, I was thinking like, there's another species that I really like, um, a rough toothed dolphin. And the scientific name for a rough toothed dolphin is Steno brennanensis. So I put Steno. I knew that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so that's how we got our names. Thank you. What we didn't say was our parents gave us all those names, by the way. <laughs> I'll call him Black Griffin. <laughs> you pop out and they're like, well, oh man, uh, <laughs> White Griffin. <laughs> Hello, 
Hi, how y'all doing? Um, Great. This is really just for, well, this is mainly for AC Race Fest. Okay. But y'all can all add to this. I was wondering, um, like, what video that you feel like just came together? Oh, just like, like? Just like, yeah, that came out perfect. Oh, man. Um, I, I think I think the one, the way it came together, um, not only was it like, oh my gosh, this is happening, but it was also incredibly just, it was a humbling experience, um, was uh, the series finale, Bronies React. Right. And because that one, that was such an undertaking because I didn't, I, when, I, when I started putting it together, I'm like, I want to somehow get most of the people that I've worked with in the Reacts, the people that I've had, you know, these great experiences with over the years, right. involved in it some way, but I'm like, but there's no way I'm gonna have 55 people <laughs> reacting to this one thing. Like, I was right. like, how's this gonna happen? Plus, some of those people have been removed from the fandom for years, right. and I didn't even think, I was like, oh, I'm probably gonna contact them, and they're gonna be like, I mean, I don't, I don't do this thing uh, anymore. And when I started going around and asking people, um, you know, some of which I had only worked with once, hearing their willingness to come back and film, you know, to answer that question that was in the second half of that video, um, and, and send in footage. Again, some people that I did not know that well, but they were like, hey, you know what, I, I really enjoyed working with you when we did this. Um, I'd be happy to help you out. That to me, I was like, Again, like for me, I, I, I was just, I was surprised. I, I was very pleasantly surprised because over the years I've always tried as a, a creator of such collaborations to make everyone that's worked with me enjoy themselves, not feel like, oh, this is work. And um, you know, a, a lot of that comes with just understanding each person that you're working with and their situations. And, and when I put that together, that, that felt like a mission accomplished moment for me for how many people were willing to come back. And not just that, then seeing how many show staff were like, yeah, I'm willing to you know, jump into this. I'm like, what happened? Like, what, how, did, how, how is this happening? It was, that was cool to me. It took forever to edit that thing together. Yeah, it did, but, uh, but, but just that collection of, of hitting people up and how smoothly that went, um, that to me was like, wow, this all just really came together. So, nice. yeah. Thank you. Uh, how you guys doing? Doing good? Yeah. All right. Hello. Hello. Uh, first of all, that one day you mentioned was four days ago about the Chippendale, there's a movie coming oh, out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What? Yeah. No way. No, it's a trailer. I'm dead serious. Four days ago. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, four days ago, check my channel. There should be a, yeah. a live a reaction. reaction video. That was, yeah. Oh, I was, uh, but thank oh, you for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to know how you reacted. I hate that. his sarcasm. Get him off the stage. No, uh, yeah. But thank you because not often do I know what's going on in the world. I so. figured, Con, you might have missed it. Just okay. watching the news is just depressing. That is true. That is true. Absolutely. Yeah. One for everyone. What's your favorite joke that someone else has made in the reaction? Oh, that's a great question. Ooh. I wanted to think about it. There are so many. Yeah. Uh, favorite joke. One of my favorite. I forgot what it was exactly, but like. Silverquill and Little Shy said the exact same thing. Oh yes. Uh, yeah. There are TD cans everywhere. Very good yeah. Very good memory. That was it. That was like, it worked for work. Right there. It was the uh, yeah the the cannons. Yeah, the little mini the teeny tiny cannons. We both wanted to see with Venerable. And here's the thing, we did not coordinate that. No. Amazing. We we did not say hey let's both say these lines. Completely independent. Showing we are becoming part of the hive mind. <laughs> it's happening. Most recently, in the last react, it was when you said to your to your wife Sarah, you're like, so you called that that her dad was gonna die like right off the bat. She's like, yes, I did. It's like like you knew it before the movie even starts. Like, yep. And then you go, did you kill him? <laughs> I like that. And then I was yeah, I got Disneyed. And then uh, probably overall, I I love the animated James. All right, Sunset Shimmer, 
Starlight Glimmer. There's going to be a character named Seafood Dinner, isn't there? And I actually met someone today whose badge is Seafood Dinner. I was like, yes. <laughs> Rack reaction during season three premiere. So rack, yeah. He was nuts. He just screamed. When I, when I, uh, see, this is the fun part of having done this for 10 years. Everything's like mashed potatoes in my brain where I'm like, there's been a lot. And, and some, sometimes there's stuff where I'm like, did I put that in? Because I see a lot of stuff that doesn't make it in. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, probably for me, mostly. There's stuff definitely from you. I see a lot of things. Um, uh, but I know, I know a certain one from Saber. You know it, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that one. You need to post that one. It I don't think it was on the drive that oh, died. It makes me so sad. Oh, I, oh. I, can I tell them? Tell them. Okay. Do All right. So there was a. <laughs> All right. In the in the Crystal Ponies episode, when Rarity goes all nuts and goes Crystal Ponies, well Saber, ah, oh. Saber films films a clip where he goes Crystal Ponies. And then he screams, and when he screams, he had a bottle of lotion, he squeezed it, and it all just shot. <laughs> <laughs> it goes, ah! and it goes everywhere. <laughs> and he pauses for a second, and then he just loses it. He just cracks up. Ah! And he goes, don't use that. And I was like, no! It's the best video ever! It was. It was. At the time, the series was still young enough to where I was like, I don't, I don't think I should include something like that. There was, there was also uh, a moment where I had to entirely, I say had to, but I entirely cut someone out of a react. And, and I know like people are like, oh my gosh, that sounds like a bad experience. But it was, it was one of those where when I'm like, I don't know if I can use this, the response I got back was, I'm not surprised at all. And it was from Beavids. Uh, because, yeah, he filmed, he had, so, uh, for those that know Beavis, he also has a, a, a friend of ours named Rob Bob. Oh, and, Rob and they, Nor, yeah. they, they filmed together, uh, where it was the episode with Starlight Glimmer. Um, and, uh, when she first shows up, and so his premise for it was that he was being forced to watch it by, like, like, like Russian agents, and and so Rob bursts into his into his house and starts beating him, and they put like raspberry sauce all over Henry's face, and he's like beat up and like oh my god, and I'm like I'm like Henry, this is scaring the crap out of me, like like you guys went you guys went a next level on this, and I'm like I don't, and the problem was I I would have had to include everything for it to make sense. He couldn't just show up like that. Yeah, just blood all over your face. Like, oh man, why? Is so, so I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I could do. And he was just laughing. He's like, I'm not surprised at all. Um, it's something that we to this day laugh about. But uh, yeah, no, there's been a lot of jokes. I think, I think what I'll say though, to, to try and answer the question is that um, one of my favorite all time moments that I think nearly killed me um, was, and I don't even remember if this was in the actual reactor, if this was a blooper. So Viva Reverie. Oh my gosh, I love you. She does some insane things in, 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 in the React sometimes. Stuff where I'm like, I don't even know what's going through your brain. And I think she has a, a bunk bed or something. Yeah. And at one point she was like, I don't even remember the, she was, she was like rolling over on it and then realized she got to a point of no return and then fell off the bed, slamming into like a desk. All of her plushies go flying. And I'm just, I, I, I nearly died watching that. I was like, oh my God. Oh, it was so good. Thank you for your, your oh, you have another? Yeah, I do. Uh, running parallel to that, I too was going to say Viva for her reactions to Pony Life. All of them. Uh, <laughs> but, but also Jax Blade, uh, during Twilight's Kingdom, where, where Twilight's Ooh, battling to yeah. Oh, yeah. Jax is getting so into this, he is just <laughs> bouncing in his seat, he's loving it, and all of a sudden he goes flying off the screen, you hear this crash, and this <laughs> zero energy loss. There's as much passion in his voice on the floor as there was in the chair. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> I have never seen that pure concentrated enthusiasm since. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, and there's a reason he only gave me three minutes of footage because that's all he had for it and all he had left. He fell asleep out of that. Yeah. He, yeah. One take. All right, thank you for your question. I think we, I don't know if that wire has much more left to it. <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh, 
Just this, this is my first con, so I want to say this is awesome. Uh, welcome. Hey, welcome. <laughs> so um, I guess my question is, what was your first ex first con experience? Ooh. Oh, what a great question. Right, go. All right, my first convention was perhaps Con 2012, because I was, okay, so pretty much cold turkey, I'd never been to a convention, I had not started really doing anything within the fandom. It was just fun to walk around and see the art people have created, see how passion works. And here's the thing, I've been to anime and sci-fi conventions, but there, it's always a splintered focus. It's, are you a Trekkie, are you a brown coat, are you a Warzing, a Whovian? Here, one convention, one fandom. It was incredibly energetic. And that's what started me coming back and part of why I started creating. Nice. Amazing. My first convention was Brunicon 2013. And what, what a first convention. I said on a panel earlier, I was actually deployed to Australia at a forward operating base in Carnes. And I somehow convinced my command to let me go on leave for a week. It's probably because I was about to get out soon. And I was like, look, this is work. This is work. This is what I'm going to be doing after the Navy. You have to let me go. And they're like, OK. I was like, really? Oh, wow. So I flew from Australia. I'd been a brony probably for four years at that point. Never met another brony. So I get to the convention, and I walk in. And I was just like, <laughs> and then I got walked up to me. Are you Black Griffin? And I was like, how did you know? <laughs> Spongebob meme. So weird. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. And then, like, it, it was just, like, mind-blowing. And I hung out with the Creepers all the time because we had, like, agreed to do a set. And then, yeah, it was just it was insane. And that's why I met you for the first time. Mm -hmm. And then Saber and Rob and Monty and Ed and just everybody was there. And it was just, it was just wow. So much happened. It was just mind-blowing. And, yeah, so I was like, I have to do this again. And I did. And I, I still am. That's when you met Michelle. That's right. That's the first time I met Michelle. He too, neglected yeah. to mention that he flew into the wrong airport. That was not my fault. The Navy did it. We had to drive like three hours yep. to go get him. He's like, Dulles? Is, that's not the one in Texas, right? <laughs> See, now you flew into the right. Dallas. Uh, uh, was, but, that, was that the convention where we were all in the room together, or was that the next year? I feel like the first few years we were yeah. all in a I was in yeah, one no, room no, the first was, night, and then the next was. night I came to your room. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. we were walking through Baltimore at like 2 a.m. We're like, I think yeah. this is a good idea. Yeah. so much fun. <laughs> um, Keep going. I'm, I'm taking notes for my Bronis React Erotica. Ah. <laughs> when, when was that? Oh, that was I'll send you footage. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for me, it was Everfree Northwest 2012. Um, I So, at... There, at, by the time of BronyCon 2012, I had gotten to know a bunch of people um, who, you know, I had been making the Bronies React at that point, and, but it was too late for me to commit to going to BronyCon 2012, and then I, I was watching the Equestrian Inquirer and, and uh, Everfree Network, at the time Everfree Radio, like doing videos and whatnot, and I was like, I'm watching these live streams, and I was like, I am so jealous. Like, I gotta go to a convention. So I committed right then and there. I'm like, I'm going to Everfree Northwest 2012. It's gonna happen. And uh, so Sarah, at the time my girlfriend, now my wife, we decided, oh. I know, wow. Uh, I decided, or we decided, hey, let's road trip up there. How bad can it be? 17 hour drive. And uh, it, it, the drive itself wasn't bad, but I, I was like, man, that's 17 hours is a long drive. Uh, anyone here travel 17 or more hours to get here to the see see yeah anyone at for any convention travel that far or more wow oh stop bragging um, I went I left from Australia it was about the same 26 you didn't hours. drive I flew you watched like that's a move oh wow <laughs> That's how he still flies. Uh, so, so yeah, we we, we road tripped and, and kind of like Gabe. Like for me, I was I was on you know I, I wanted to vlog it, which started the trend that I still carry today. But I was I was really curious about oh um, is uh, I do wonder if anyone's gonna recognize like my work or anything because I didn't know I I'd never experienced something like this, and and I walk up to the door. And some guy who was on the other side of the door opens the door up and goes, AC Race Fest, welcome in. And I was like, oh, 
yeah, it happened. I know, it's like, oh. I didn't expect it, like, on the first day. Like, maybe one person might recognize me. Yeah, instantly. And, and first they first. open the door, and they're like, welcome in. And I was like, wow. I know one person you told, told me and Saber, well, because that's when we first met, was at Every Northwest, uh, that somebody thought you were the living tombstone. <laughs> I told you. Wow. I told you. That's a stretch, Someone walked man. up and said, yeah. Living Tombstone, can I have your autograph? <laughs> and I was like, is it right to turn someone down? <laughs> Tomb, Tomb was at that convention, yeah. but they were off. How do you confuse you? Wait, you no, wait. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't think Tomb, Tomb was, was at, not at that convention. He, wasn't he was at, at the next ever Free Northwest. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know how... How? I think people just saw someone signing autographs and was like, well, there's only one person that that'd be worth getting. <laughs> Tombstone, so, yeah. Oh, you saber spark a lot, though. It happened this weekend. Yeah. I don't think so. I think I was like, oh, I'm not, I would have felt too bad. I would have been like, that's, that's not right. That was another question inquiry interview for the first time. Yeah, I got interviewed by a question inquiry. It was just a, it was a cool experience. Yeah. Um, for me, it was RunnyCon 2012. Uh, so it was like the one of the first big conventions. Uh, that's where I first met Sarah Spark, Hirasashi, Jack's Blade, a bunch of the people that I was talking to at the time. Um, but unfortunately, uh, with that convention, me and Saber were working on our, our documentary, The Brony Chronicles. Uh, so we were mainly just interviewing people like the whole time. We were rarely on the, the con floor. We were just like working the whole time pretty much. And that was for a few, like Ever Free Northwest. Yeah, for Ever Free Northwest too, because we only saw you during your interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, a whole bunch of different experiences. I hope that yours is fantastic as a, a first time here at a convention, and I hope we certainly see more of it. Of course, thank you, thank you. Another first timer to conventions, red card. Uh, Why aren't you wearing red? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To answer your question, Gabe, I, I'm, I'm wearing this because I officiated football in this there room this morning. There you go. That's cool. nice. Um, so, uh, I think everyone um, in here knows that um, oh, uh, a while ago you uh, and, uh, and the others re reacted to uh, the, the season one premiere, Friendship yeah. is Magic. Yep. Um, do you have the intention of possibly reacting to Return of Harmony or any other um, pre-season two finale stuff? So, so um, the funny thing with G5 is that I didn't have a great grasp on how soon stuff was gonna start coming out. Um, I'm glad that we got the, you know, season one uh, in there, uh, the, you know, the first ever episode of G4. Um, the answer, I can't say as to when or a timeline because I honestly, guys, I think we're about to get like slammed in the best of ways with a lot of G5 content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming. Um, and, uh, but the, to answer your question, I, those, those are my intentions to at some point, I at least want to hit up the finale of season one and then uh, the intro to season two. Uh, because I, I feel like then at least like those are all covered and that's that's partially why we went back to the season one um, uh, stuff and I even was thinking with this recent react that we did for G5 I'm like oh it'd be you know because again sentimentality with me is a big thing and I'm like oh maybe I'll like if, what if I release that on the date of the 10-year anniversary for Bronies react but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want it so close to when the brony or sorry the vlogs are gonna be coming out so I'm like, I wanted to give it some time to breathe before that, so that's why I released it a little bit earlier, but yes, I think uh, I think so, at some point. Who knows when, but I'd like to. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Redcar. Hello. I know you. Hello, it's hey. been so long. Yeah, I know. You're, you're, at you're least drinking, 10 minutes. Yes, yeah, so you've been <laughs> drinking a uh, AMW. A nectar of the Gods. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty. I'm sorry. Bane of the cleaning facility. Yeah. Uh, Gabe? You can yeah, sorry, that, baby. Uh, anyways, I'm sorry for my question. Um, is there any event that any of you have been to uh, that was, hopefully not, but was like a, uh, a failure or a drag where you just wanted to like get up and leave, but you... Oh my you god. <laughs> Never! <laughs> yes. Alright, alright, alright. Uh... Okay. 
Anyone else? Yes. I, I, actually, I actually have a thing. Because, like, it's, it's funny because, like... Well, actually, there's a couple, probably. Cause, like, wow! It's, it, it's funny because, like, um, my first ever panel oh my was gosh. at BronyCon 2012. And it was like a podcaster's panel, and they had me and Saber up there when we were still doing Bright Breakdown. And uh, there, was a, there was a certain person up there that was just infuriating as far as like the way that they were they were acting and like it's, it wasn't like just me like everybody else on the panel was like what is this person doing um so that was <laughs> it's funny because like saber always says it as like it's the angriest he's ever seen me and it was the first time he ever saw me <laughs> <laughs> yep um and the other one is uh one that i actually never actually went to but like i have i dodged a bullet um, because there was going to be a convention in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, called Sweet Apple Acres Con, and me, my friend, uh, Tommy Oliver, who was Brony Curious, and, uh, Matt, who was a DB pony, uh, uh, we, we three were supposed to go out there, and the day before we were supposed to, actually, it might have been the day, uh, that we, our flights were supposed to go, uh, we were called by, uh, our handlers, and... They said, do not come. Everything is blowing up. Like, so I just dodged a bullet by not going. Because it, it, apparently they had like a lot of problems with the hotel and they couldn't get the hotel for the convention. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, okay, so now, I was going to say I just had one, but you did remind me of another one. So, it, in terms of like events, there was really only one that I wish I wasn't there, but that wasn't the event's fault. Um, and it was the last convention I went to. I got really, really bad news the day the convention started, like the morning of the first day of the convention. That just put me completely out of it. And I was like, I do not want to be here. I want to be crying under a table somewhere for a month. And uh, I had to power through, and I had to do it. And I think I'm glad that I did it because it probably kept me from like the darkest days of my like grief and frustration. But um, it was very hard to put on a smile and be like, "Yeah, I'm so happy to be here." Because I'm like, it, 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 I know that it was nobody's fault there, and I like the convention is amazing, and it was um, Everfree Northwest, which is an amazing convention, and you know I've always had a great time there. Scott's an awesome, awesome con chair, and all you know, the guests were awesome. But I was just like, I just really don't want to be here right now. It's not what I want to be doing. But yeah, ultimately I'm glad I was there. And then the event that I wished, I don't even remember what convention it was, but it was a how to YouTube panel, no not yours, and there was a guy on the panel, don't know his name, who for whatever reason, every time I would answer a question, he would go, actually you're wrong about that, this is what you should be doing. <laughs> And, and, and I was like, what is your deal, dude? Like, it, it, just everything I said, well, you know, someone asked me a question about camera equipment. I'm like, well, you know, the camera equipment doesn't matter as much as the content. And he's like, uh, 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 no. And then he's like, you know, and then afterwards I was like, who is this guy? I'm gonna look him up. I look at his channel, he had like five subscribers and I had two million. And I was like, what? come on. Anyway, that was, yeah, annoying. Uh, well, I got I won't say that I, I didn't want to be anywhere else at the time, but there were two co two conventions where things just got weird. One of them is the, the now gone uh, Running of the Leaves in Denver. Oh, and sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 that was that, I guess. Survivors. <laughs> so of survivors. I, I feel for you. This was, I believe, their first year, and everything went wrong. They didn't have badges printed. Uh, it was an hour and a half delay for opening ceremonies, and everything was a mess. And whoever had scheduled, I applied for three panels. They decided to put them all back to back to back in the same room. So basically, I had a six-hour mega panel in just in one room with pretty much a consistent audience. So my friends who were there with me, they promised that they'll bring me something back from the Smash Burger across the street. As I'm doing the how I edit. Uh, video, I look over and there are police lights flashing in front of the Smash Burger and several cars, and I'm like, what did they do now? <laughs> and, it, and we're like, oh my god, are they okay? But, you know, I have to come off as a snarky jackass. So, <laughs> that's pretty easy. Whew. It, it comes back. It really does. <laughs> so, thankfully, they, they showed up, they brought food and stole bites when my back was turned. Uh, 
of my food. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, I guess eating is a theme for me tonight. Uh, so that was tiring. I really, I gave everyone breaks because this six hour mega panel would seem ridiculous to me. But that was rough. The only time I've really gotten mad at the convention was, this is a Crystal Mountain. There was this young man there who had made this huge spectacle of himself during open ceremonies just in the audience. Uh, he wasn't even there being a brony. He just wanted to tap into some popular niche to get his channel boosted. That's all he did. So as I'm doing a How I Edit panel, two hours, several times he comes in and is laying out equipment for his panel that's supposed to come thereafter. And by the third time, he's shout out, hey everyone, by the way, before, and I just, I try to be really proper about this, but I was like, sir, you're interrupting my panel. And he got out, he shut up, and uh, I found out by the next day the entire convention had kicked him out. Nice. Wow. Wow. I was very glad for that, but that's one of the... Yeah. It's just, at some point, you gotta put your foot down, and I hope, and I will always hope I did it in a respectful way. But I was made no qualms about the fact I was mad. Yeah. So it's not that I didn't wish I was there. I had fun at Crystal Mountain several years running, but in that moment, if I had the power to drop kick someone to another state, <laughs> by golly, I would. Yeah, I'm gonna. So, um, so real quick, uh, we technically have two minutes, but I want, I want for those of you guys in line, my goal is to answer your questions, all right? Um, uh, so to answer yours real quick, there's an easy answer, and then there's a second answer. A, Las Vegas is Unicon. If you don't know the answer, uh, if you don't know why that's an answer, again, I have vlogs up, you can check it there's, out. There's videos about that convention now. Like, yeah, that like, used my footage and didn't even ask. <laughs> How dare they? You've survived. Yeah, no, we, uh, that was, whoo, that was, that was like the ultimate Titanic. Well, I don't know, there's been a couple, but, but that was like the infamous oh, convention. Uh, the other answer I have, and this one might be lesser known, but there was a Bronies React panel that was at BronyCon one year. And um, it was it was very strange. Like Animated James was on there and he had like a poster that he held up and it had like the censored F word out. and. And, and then all of a sudden, like, they shut off his mic at one point, and then he ran out, and, and then another member on the panel was having, like, an emotional breakdown, and I, and then, and then James came, came back, he was literally carried back in by someone and plopped down, and at one point I look in the back, and the entire security force of BronyCon, including the head of BronyCon, is up in the back of my panel, and I'm going, What's going on? And 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 I the, the, I always describe it if anyone's seen the GIF or GIF of uh, GIF. the GIF, GIF of uh, of the of the in, from the Pirates movies where the guy's walking down the stairs and all the ship is exploding around him and he just keeps going. That's what it. That's what it felt like. I was just like, I have no control of what's going on. It was. It was insane, but thank you for your question. And like I said, our goal is to get through all these questions That's as well, so, so thank good. you. That's what it felt like. It was, oh man. Hello. Hello, Race. nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Um, so I had a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, so you've had a lot of people on your bronies react. Um, I'm curious to know if you've ever had a wish list of people that you would love to have on your bronies react for like future stuff or um, like a bucket list of people you would like to bring on? Um, there, there have been people that I have contacted in the past, um, some of which that weren't interested. Uh, you know, some people, it's just the, the camera side of it mm -hmm. is something they're not comfortable with, right. um, which I respect. There were a few musicians uh, that I had also hit up and similar thing. They were like, this just isn't my thing. And I'm like, cool. Um, uh, as far as a, I, the thing is like, I've always enjoyed kind of having a rotating cast of sorts. Like obviously we have like most of our regulars, but then like having some other faces pop in from here and there. Um, like recently we had DJ Thed for the first time um, uh, join us for the React. So um, I wouldn't say it's like a defined list per se, because each one 
kind of pertains to like, oh, what's what's the relevance here? But I, I heard it behind one of you just said it, where it's like, say Lauren Faust. <laughs> like, you know, and I remember I once joked about that on a Bernie's Right panel. I'm like, yeah, I hit her up, but she was like, nah. And everyone's like, oh, and I'm like, oh, that sounded legit. I was joking. I never actually hit her up. But, but yeah, I wouldn't say I have necessarily a defined list, so to speak. Like, it, 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 it's kind of like, all right, here we are in the, in the spot, and then I, I always recontact people in regards to getting them involved. Uh, some people know that uh, they can never escape. Yeah, basically all of you, you just can't escape. Uh, Saber always jokes about not escaping, but then what you don't know is when he calls me up, he's like, dude, I had so much fun doing the Brody's Ranks, I can't wait to do the next one. And then he gets on and camera, I'm a huge furry, like, and your channel's better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that part. Yeah. So yeah, that's the, that's the answer with, uh, that. hopefully that answered your question of some sort. That's understandable. Cool, yeah. But uh, yeah, thank you for your question. You're welcome, Rice. And uh, looking good as always, Taylor. <laughs> I, who's your favorite pony again? Uh, Sweetie Belle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No. Hello. What's up, guys? Uh, hey. Big fan. Just first of all, I'll keep it short, but I wanted to thank you all for the hours and hours of free content you've provided for us. Hey. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Other than that, I'm trying to ask a question you may or may not have been asked before. Um, have any of you, obviously you're all very accomplished, have you had any run-ins with imposter syndrome? And oh, yes! If you have, kind of a, a follow-up, um, did you have a moment after that that made you realize, oh, hey, maybe I do deserve this, you know? That's a great question. There is uh, someone who has, like, a silver quill account on YouTube that has uploaded some of my videos, but like they don't get much Oh, noise. like a literal imposter. Like yeah. a little, a literal oh. imposter. <laughs> 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 imposter syndrome, the feeling that you don't belong in something that you're supposed to do. Uh, that's... Maybe that you're in Monday through Friday. Friday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, I, I misunderstood that. Okay, uh... Well, honestly, that is kind of true. I, before this, I never participated in conventions, in, uh, in... I was always an attendee, never working at it, never hosting a panel or vending or anything like that. Even to this day, there's sort of this weird, surreal feel to everything. Like, what, how, how did I accomplish this? this? None of this was planned, none of this was me laying out a clear steps towards becoming a YouTuber. It all has just happened and there are days I'm like, oh god, some, one of these days people are going to realize you're a hack. Uh, that hasn't happened yet, but I just jinxed it. Ah. So I, I would say imposter syndrome is something that I feel on and off quite frequently. I mean, when I first got an agent and became a voice actor, the very first thing I booked was Geronimo Stilton, which had like half the cast of My Little Pony in it, and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> they don't know. But um, then I did the show, we did the whole recording session, and like other people made mistakes just like I did, and it was just, it was a good time and relaxing, and then we all went out for lunch afterwards. I was like, oh my gosh, that was actually really easy. And then, you know, the astronauts, you know, selection process happened and I started feeling that way and then I met actual astronauts and I was like, oh wait, you're just like me, I guess. And then I think the, the more often I have it, the less hard it hits because I realize no matter how far you go, no matter how high you climb, people are people. We're all, you know, very, we're the same. So it's just, it, it, it can get in your head, but just try not to believe it. Yeah, because it's not true. Imposter syndrome is, it's all in your head. It's insecurity. Yeah, that's fine. So that's... Probably the best answer right there, but yeah. uh, thank you for your question. Thank you guys. And we'll we'll hit these last two real quick so we can get ourselves out of here. Hello, I, hello everyone. Hello, uh, hello AC. Hello. Pleasure, good to see you again. Good to see you. Met you at a free. And also like to go shout out to Civil Crow for thanking for thank thanking you for giving for giving me that Starlight plush. I oh, appreciate well, it. I'm just I'm just the messenger. Uh, this it was, someone gave me a Starlight plush, and the first person to ask about it would receive it. There that person stands. Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect. All right. I'm just the messenger. All right. On don't with the question. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> as, a, as a first timer of Brony's React, I'd like to know every. This is a question for everyone. What is your most favorite bro reaction you have done so far? All right. Slam through this. Hi, Rob. <laughs> uh, uh, jumping out of a plane and climbing Mount Fuji. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I still, I still like uh, an early react where I, I managed to make my couch slip all the way through my living room. I'm like going, yes, 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 yes. I didn't know that would happen until I was actually doing it. And I went, oh, I'm just going to keep going. Momentum. I, uh, I like the one where I was dressed as a shark. Okay. Yeah. Shark. There's a lot of moments. That <laughs> I'm a shark. I'm fine. But hopefully you enjoy. Yeah. Thank you for your question. Thank you. And the last question. Finale. Last question. I better make this a good one. Oh, yeah. yes. Okay. If a train leaves Los Angeles, oh my god. <laughs> Five. Who takes a train these days? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take like 18 hours longer than it would to just drive. So. <laughs> Seriously, um, who would you say? was your most surprising cast member, both in the ways of, oh my god, I can't believe they're on the show, and also, in what they did on the show. <laughs> this, this one probably goes to Larson. Yeah. The yeah. fact that not only was he willing to do it in the first place, but the fact that he was like, hey, uh, I'm also gonna have like Russian vodka and, and, and fling dollar bills. Like, he just, he just memed through that thing, and uh, yeah, Larson, again, uh, we always gave him a hard time, but we, we loved him. Um, and I'd say, like, loved. Like, we love him. Um, and I, I'd love to see him at more of these conventions in the future. But, uh, yeah, that guy is a crack up. Um, thank you for your question. Thank you for waiting. Thank you all for joining us here at the Bronies Rock panel. Again, if you want some stickers, I'm going to stand at the back of the room there and hand some out for Ready Player Dumb. If you don't know what that is, that is our gaming channel that my wife and I do. Uh, so I got some free stickers for people. Thank you for coming. Have a good rest of your convention, everyone.